Ken Jones. It's a privilege to welcome you to our little studio here in Laguna Beach, and you are a sculptor. Yeah. Let me tell you, I have never interviewed somebody that did sculpting, and so I am excited. So everything you tell me today is going to be new and exciting. Oh, cool. I'm not the traditional sculptor, so what you're going to be seeing is... Uh... A bit different. <laughs> I don't care. It's 3D and it's, we yeah. can pick it up and we yeah. can touch it. Yeah. So let's look at this first piece. Oh, yeah. I love the color. That is uh, copper red patina uh, on uh, aluminum. So you recycle parts or how does this, what well, this are we is, using here? That's not recycled. That's all fresh out of my mind and, and all the pieces, there's five layers, and they're all made out of aluminum, cut out, brushed and finished, and placed into that fan arrangement. And the front and back are another layer of copper with the patina on it. So you love working with metal? Uh, I, I love working with anything. Ooh. Some of my stuff is not metal, but um, but yeah, metal is it's easy for me because I come from the sign and graphic community and we make things you know for display for wow factors and all that sort of stuff so in other words so, your pieces from what i'm seeing so far and what i've seen before are wow i hope I hope that's the case uh <laughs> oh trust me it is <laughs> this piece was amazing because i love the color on it and i love the dancing so you you seem to be having a music dance kind of yes. thing you like there's a good story on this piece too i was hired by i don't know if i can say say it. whatever you want chapman university i used to do a lot of work for them design wise they wanted to uh, build this new performing arts center on the campus there and i was early in on it and asked to design the look so i got into the look i designed this this was going to actually be a giant 20 foot tall structure in the front of the, the art center. And uh, down the line, the whole thing bit the, bu the bullet. But you got to save this piece. Yeah, I, I saved the design. And this was, uh, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, I think. And I saved it because I know I'm going to do something with that. And then I did this, the, another sculpture, which got me into this three dimensional stuff, you know, for myself. And I, uh, I came up with that, and I came up with the fan layers and everything, and um, it just came off so well. I just got so enthused, I made two other pieces similar because I love the look of it. I can't wait to see the next piece that's coming up. Okay, that's 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 the uh, continuation of the of the ballerina. Uh, she's dancing to harp music, and that's a, a harp, and it has strings on it and everything. Oh, really? Yeah, it does. It's uh, gold plated with a uh, bronze red patina on it. That is absolutely and, gorgeous. And it's I, two pieces that mount into the base, the harp and the, the dancer. And I put uh, that in my house. It's gorgeous. It really is beautiful. Uh, it's uh, it costs a lot to produce that one. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, it costs a lot to purchase. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll say my stuff is not what I would call inexpensive. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's gorgeous. Oh, and when you, you say gorgeous to a piece of art, it requires those kind of dollars. Yeah. So let's look at the next piece. Oh, okay. This looks like you went on a mad drumming program. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm a drummer. Oh, well, that explained a lot of it. I've uh, been in music all my life. Uh, and I was... Uh, hanging around lots of my musician friends and a couple of them that are brass players, sax and trumpet and, you know, trombone. And I started visualizing these instruments, but I wasn't quite sure what it was. So then I started purchasing these instruments, you know, searching for them online. Well, they're all, none of them are new. And uh, I just laid them on my table and then every day I go by and it started just, well, I'm going to put this this way and, you know, and just, you know, however somebody wants to arrange it. Well, it ended up looking to me like, a floral arrangement. It does. It so when I when does. I stood it up and put it all together, I go, well, this is a floral symphony, which is what I call it. And then coming up with the pedestal, I came up with three or four different ones that I hated. And I decided to take an old set of drums and do what I did there. That is really, really different, really, really exceptional. 
Yeah. It's, and it's big. Beautiful. It's uh, to the very top. It's 84 inches tall. Oh, it looks pretty big when yeah. I see three drums and then we got all yeah. kinds of horns and stuff on top. Yeah, it takes a lot of space. So it's going to take a special person to have that one. But yeah, but I'll tell you what, Southern California has a big attraction for music and this piece will sell. Trust me. I would love to sell it. I would love for somebody to really enjoy it. And uh, oh, they are, and it's got a story. Let's look at the <laughs> next one. Earlier on, before this piece, I did another piece. It's a 3D wall graphic where the violin is coming out of the background, and it's on a Rorschach test or you know an ink blot mm -hmm. test. And you, if you look it straight on, you can't see it. You have to get to the side. Well, anyway, I loved the violin shape so much. I started thinking that I needed some more like that. So I went on a a spending spree, and I bought uh, five violins. <laughs> and the first one that I used was for this one. And this one's called Overload. The thought behind that is uh, a violinist playing his brains out you know, to some you know, great thing. And it gets so hot, it explodes, burns up, and explodes. And this violin actually is broken apart. It's coming apart in itself. And it's all broken, and it looks like it's been in a fire. That's kind of the look of it. That's way, way cool. Yeah. That's, that's a beautiful piece. It too. is a beautiful piece. I And just, I love the strings, how they're just like, they're, you they're, can tell it went boom. It went boom, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that was kind of a, a weird thing, the way that happened. But um, anyway, uh, I, I sold that piece just a few weeks ago. Thank God for the year, you know? Boy, no lie. And uh, the woman that bought it just loves it. She had a special place in her house. She sent pictures of, of it, you know, being displayed. Oh, that's that's it, great when the, when the client buys a piece of your art and loves it so much that they give back. Oh, them. yeah, they were. I couldn't have been more happy. You, know? you, got, you got all the benefits of being an artist at that point. You know? Yep. You have one more piece? I have one more. Oh, yeah. Oh, cars. I like cars. Cars. I started out doing art. For cars, I did a lot of hot rod stuff. But after I did the ballerina, the style of it, which is very simplified detail, I wanted to do a car that was uh, it's non generic. Art, it's kind of Art Deco. It is. Well, yeah, you might really say that. Um, and it again is the layered aluminum pieces. This was very hard to put together. Uh, it's about. 20 inches long and it weighs about 30 pounds. <laughs> but some car person's going to love this. And yeah. California, yeah. Southern California, it's, we got every car lover in the world. Right. There. And it's basically based on a Bugatti. That's, it kind yeah. of lean yeah. towards Bugatti. Yeah. But very liberally. <laughs> the best part about you being here today is music, dance, automobiles. I mean, you were kind of like hitting it off before you even see your art. So, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you in oh, here today. It's been a pleasure for me. And I've enjoyed looking at this and learning all about, I can't wait to see more of your stuff. Oh, I yeah. can't wait to see you at a show where I can see everything. And then I'm going to come in and bother you so I can. That's cool. I want, I want a lot of questions. So. Okay, yeah, I have a lot to show. So, um, But anyway, thank you thank for you being here. Thank you very much, yeah. You have a great day. Great.